fourth league loss of the year, dropped to seven and four, and Vanguard improving to nine and two, 76. 62 the final Juliet Coy one of the assistant coaches glad to join us now as apparently coach Laster has to run to the airport yeah he does yeah he's off to recruit so oh good I like that he's recruiting let's yeah. bring us some more big girls how about Melissa Okulu tonight yeah I mean she's incredible every night on the floor she's an all-american you know she's got 26 rebounds and 28 points there's not much you can do when she's just effortless out there playing 40 minutes every night I mean She's a great kid, a great player. Vanguard's lucky to have her. Yes, indeed they are. And when we looked at the standings maybe a couple of weeks ago, we saw Menlo sitting up there with no losses. They dropped two in a row. Vanguard launches to the top of the standings, leaving us at 7-4. and four. And Really, we just want to get into the tournament. Yeah, right. I mean, we're taking the top six this year, and Life and Ottawa are sitting pretty much at the bottom, so we're looking pretty good. We just, we'd just we love a first-round bye, you know, to sit at the top of one and two seeds. So, Next week is definitely huge for us. And that'll be Menlo coming here. Yep. Another visit from the Oaks, one yeah. of my favorite teams to see. Usually they've got a plethora of girls from Hawaii with really hard names to pronounce. This year, not so much. Yeah. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing them again. Yeah, it, it'll be fun. It'll be a good matchup. It's senior night. We're excited. Milo's our only senior, so going to give it all we got for her. And, you know, we, ha- we were up last time against them, and so we're looking to pull it out and finish it this time. Got to finish it off against the Oaks and stay near the top of those standings. So the top two will get the bye. Vanguard at 9-2, and two, and they've got a few games to go. Menlo at 8-2. and two. Would be nice to see them take a couple of losses somewhere down the road. And we just got to come out and play Warrior basketball. It didn't seem like we were in sync tonight. Yeah, I was a little bit off. You know, Dre sitting out this game, our, our leading scorer, kind of forces people to step up in different roles. You know, we had Chatiel coming off the bench one of our red shirts she stepped up big for us as well and and Mila, you know a pretty consistent player out there but yeah you know we just started off a little bit flat and it's hard to do that against the number 10 team in the nation so good, good point you forget that they come in at number 10 and you watch them play and you're thinking okay first half looked pretty good outscored them what uh, they outscored us 21 to 14 in the first yep. we got them by eight in the second making it a one-point game, but that third quarter was just horrid, 31-14. Yeah, I mean, they outscored our entire first-half score in that quarter, so there's not much you can do after that if, if some of your best shooters are one for 11 and one for five. So, you know, it's tough all around. So what do you tell the girls after a loss like this? You know, you got to keep your head high. I think we're in just a playoff mindset right now. we got to start that attitude now as we go forward. You know, we got Menlo, huge week, and our gym, our crowd, our fans, senior night, everything's kind of in our on our end we have no injuries so we're good in that part but just take a day off and clear your head get ready to go you mentioned miss wada she's a redshirt freshman how many more games can she play in until she loses that eligibility yeah she's got the rest of our regular season the rest of our conference so those last three games she's got um can't play her in playoff standings obviously but um yeah i mean she's a good great shooter you know we see it every day in practice so just a little nerves kicking in but she's good yeah it was interesting to see her come in last game as i haven't seen her all season where she's been she's been on the bench as a red shirt well it was a good move to get her in get her a little game time experience early before next year and as you mentioned only one senior you've got pretty much this whole team coming back next year yeah we we got all our weapons returning so we're pretty excited about that you know looking ahead to the ncaa but we want to do a strong run in the nei tournament for our last round and See, we keep our name on the map for sure. All right. I ask everybody that comes on with me this question. I usually don't ask it to the coaches, but <laughs> I've known you for a few years now. What's your favorite food? Oh, man. Uh, I love a good taco. <laughs> yeah, a good taco, um, some nice chips and salsa. You know, can't go wrong there. And what about dessert? I just love a good cookie. A cookie, a chocolate warm, chip? Yeah, chocolate chip. A good warm cookie is my go-to for sure. Got to have the go-to. Yeah. Juliet, thanks so much for joining thanks. me on the post game. Let's go get him in Menlo a week from now. Appreciate it. We will. All right. That's Juliet Coy. I'm Dave Rosenthal. We'll take a step aside for about 15, 18 minutes now as the boys game will be up next and the Warriors trying to improve on their standings in the G-Sack as the men from Jessup 6-4, and four, everybody jumbled 7-3 and three, OUAZ, Master 7-3, Arizona Christian 6-4, and four, Hope 6-4, and four, Jessup 6-4, and four, hoping to go 7-4 and four tonight. Again, your final score is 76-62 in favor of the visiting Lions. Men's basketball coming up next right here on the Warrior Basketball Network.